Hey, do you face this problem with WordPress? Cookies are blocked. If you are facing this problem, I'm also facing that problem, but I have resolved it. So I'm going to show you three ways to solve this problem quickly. Okay. So right now I'm working on this website only to realize there's an error. Well, when I try to enter my credentials, the same error. This is also another tab. I open it and then when I try entering my credentials and hit login, the same error. Okay. So in order to solve this problem, first, if you have a second browser, okay, if you have a different browser, head over to that browser. In my case, I'm going to use UC browser. Okay, so I've opened up my browser, which is UC browser. You can open any browser of your choice, but it should be an alternative to the one you are using. Okay, and then copy your link, your link, your login link, and then go to that second browser and then paste it here like this. Hit enter. Now we are brought to the login page. Try logging in. If you're able to log in successfully, then your problem is solved. So try logging in and I'll put this is a demo website. I'm going to use it to make a tutorial video. So I will not have problem exposing my username. So I put my username and then I put my password and then hit enter. If you're able to log in, then we can solve this problem easily. and successful i'm able to log in so what is causing this problem the problem is from your browser's cache the caching okay you need to clear your browser's cache something we call cache or cookies to so just hold control h or you go to your browser's history okay control h and then click on clear browsing data and we have a pop-up like this please click here cookies so guess click there and then when did this thing start this error is it today or yesterday so you just click on last day and you put 24 hours okay but take note if you add browsing history your browsing history is going to be wiped out okay i don't have i don't need to clear my browsing history so just allow that and then click on what clear data and we are done assuming that didn't work the next alternative is to go and deactivate all your plugins okay all right, so let's go and deactivate our plugins one by one and see if the error will be gone. Okay, but to me, my error is gone already, but I'm only showing you how you can tackle it. Should in case you still have the same problems. Okay, so let's go ahead to cPanel. After landing on cPanel, click File Manager. Please Head over to where you installed your WordPress. In my case, I have it installed here. Tutorials.ml Inside this folder, that's where I have it installed. Please go to WP Content. Double click on it. Please go inside plugins. You can also deactivate the whole plugins folder. Okay. By click on rename. You guys come here, rename. And then you put something like this underscore. And then click on rename. 
so after renaming this plugin it's going to deactivate every single plugin inside this folder and then go ahead and then try logging in if you log in and you are able to log in successfully it means there's a particular plugin inside this folder that is causing it so that means you have to reactivate that folder and then go inside and start troubleshooting so in order to do that please you go up one level and then assuming this solved the problem then you need to identify which plugin is causing that so in order to identify that you need to reactivate the whole plugin thing so you just click on rename and remove the underscore after that go ahead and rename it and this should reactivate the problem and this time go inside and then please try to disable individual plugin so what we need to do here is to rename this first plugin and then we put underscore and then we rename it reload the site try logging in if it's successful it means it's this plugin that is causing that problem in that case you need to delete that and reinstall it so that's how you solve that problem but for just clearing the caching alone it's going to solve your problem for you so guys that's it that's how you troubleshoot this kind of problem and then you solve it thank you for watching this video if this has been helpful to you go ahead and then join me on this channel as i help you troubleshoot problems like this thank you and take care